Cognitive behavior therapy is a form of psychotherapy which has its uh, kind of tradition in behavioral approach and behavioral approach is very kind of science-based approach and therefore the whole approach of CBT is kind of scientifically based and this is one of the strengths of CBT. And of course CBT stands for cognitive behavior therapy so it's not just kind of behavior component there is also cognitive component which was integrated into this treatment approach. So basically what the term cognitive behavior therapy implies is that in this treatment we try to address behaviors and cognitions that are maintaining the individual's problem. I think that internal events, conferences like this, are really important because obviously they form part of continuing professional development for the staff and without that we actually don't have sufficient quality um, over time. You know, that this kind of conferences are actually very cost effective because they capture a large group of staff from the trust which makes it much cheaper than sending individuals to external events. Uh, in addition to this, I think because more people are accessing these kind of events, it is more likely that they will be supporting each other in actually the usage, implementation of what they're going to learn today in their clinical work. This conference also provides an opportunity to showcase some of the work that has been done, which I think is also very important because it further encourages, stimulates, motivates people uh, to continue to develop, in our case, CBT services and CBT innovation. CBT provision in the trust, current supervision in the trust, I think is relatively strong. It is strong, I think, because we have a significant number of very highly skilled CBT therapists in the organisation and because we have been running our CBT training for such a long time, we also have a good level of CBT skills among a large proportion of non-therapist clinical staff in the trust. As all organisations, we are continuously struggling to provide more for less, so no doubt we have some of our difficulties and our current difficulties are probably most obvious in the area of CBT supervision, but with the development of a new post within the Trust which is specifically focused on training and supervision, we are beginning to address this issue as well. So I'm very optimistic about where we are at the moment and where we are going. I think there are probably going to be within our organisation two strands of CBT training. Um, we are hoping that in the future our provision of IAPT uh, services um, is going to increase. So I think that we will need to develop new programmes which will capture the need, continuing professional need for uh, people who work in, the, in primary care in IAPT services. But of course we are hoping to have a, a significant secondary service in the future, service that actually is focused on a provision of care for people with um, serious mental illness. So our training will also need to focus on clinicians who work with this particular population. So I think that in the future we, we are going to see strengthening of CBD training in the trust in the area of psychosis and in the area of personality disorder.